day two of testing the unit from Europe by Sea Crane. Just a few more charges to test out and some more questions to ask. Like, uh, how do you get this product? Caution, toll booth. Yeah, I'm on the toll road. Moment, my battery temperature is a little bit warm, but it's not because I've been driving, it's just because it's been a warm night here in Florida and waking up, well, battery's still hot. All right, I am back at the one charger out of all the ones we tested yesterday that did not work. He went back to his hotel room last night and uh, he's pretty confident that we're gonna get these things working right off the bat. And then we're gonna ask some questions because yesterday's video, audio messed up. I had to delete a lot of footage and add music to some of it. I'm doing it on my phone today. Sam's or Sony, you stayed at home. Look at the location of this charger. It's like in a perfect spot, right downtown the city, beautiful Orlando. Just a perfect location. Even the solar panels are like a work of art. Yeah, this is a really great station. The one thing I wish they would have put in though is a canopy because it rains so much in Florida, especially during the summertime, hurricane season. We get those four o'clock afternoon showers because we're kind of tropical, right? We're in Florida. And it would be really nice to have some solar panel awnings here to keep us dry when we charge. But what a nice location. Looks like he's prepping and getting excited. I'm gonna go turn my internet on so he has access for his computer. And uh, let's see if we can get this thing going today. If so, this thing will be working 100% of the time. Okay, this is exciting. While we're testing this out, I think the brand new high-speed Florida rail is getting ready to pass by. The guards just went down and I think that is the high-speed rail track. I mean, it's not high-speed like the rest of the world. I think it does like 130 miles an hour. And if it is, it's not gonna do it through here. Okay, where's the train? Oh, I wanted to get it on video. I haven't seen it yet. Maybe that thing is just broke. No, it's coming. So that must be the station right there. I thought the station was at the airport. Maybe this is not the high-speed rail. Maybe this is just our regular Florida choo-choo train. No, what is it? No, that's it. No, that's just a regular sun rail. lights mean that this adapter is working 100% of the time on every single charger we tested in the state of Florida this guy is amazing the company and I I'm excited look at that row of chargers yeah what can I say it's I said I would say a big thank you to Penny Ping for uh, putting this all together and having him come out here. Penny, thank you so much. Yeah, she did a great job. Patrick, amazing. Their product works great. Um, if there's any questions that you guys might have about this product, specifically how to purchase it, how to get a hold of Patrick uh, for purchasing it, whether you're in the UK, you're in the United States, Canada, wherever you're at, just Leave a comment in the, in the description or down below. Just read the comments, leave, leave a comment. And uh, he's gonna be checking the comments periodically. And if there's any questions, he'll probably pop in and answer them for you. It, it might be the easiest way to get in touch with him, find out the cost and how to get it shipped to you and everything else. And um, yeah, so it's working all over Europe. It's working all over Florida, which probably means it's gonna work all over the entire United States and Canada probably Mexico because from my understanding these are uh, these are from these the power electronics. power electronics is from Mexico Spain 
Oh, Spain. Oh, Spain. Uh, Mexico, as well. Mexico, Mexico as well. So, if these are from Mexico, they're probably going to work in Mexico too. So, yeah, how great is this? 100% uptime so far in two days. Now, this is only two days of testing, but I swear, every single one. So, to let you know, I'm not really joking or lying about this. A company, I'll tell you why I wasn't lying in just a second. We just restarted this as a second test to make sure, and it is working. It's working. Communication with the vehicle. That's, it is showing over there already, though. Okay, here it goes. See, I'm at 52%. Kilowatts are going to start ramping up here. Let's see what we can get. We're at 52%. I wonder, what do you think the output of this charger is? I think it's a... This is a... you think I'll be able to get? Uh, this is... Uh... So, so, so 150 kilowatt. Let's see if we can get it up in the 70s. Or it was 22, 23. It's starting to climb. Now remember, my battery is warm. It did not get. Only got three hours of rest last night. By the time I got home, it only had the battery only had three hours to cool down. And I am, at, like I said, at 52 percent. Um, to tell you why I'm not lying is a company sent me a EV awning for my RV or not an EV RV awning and it's a it's crap and but they want me to do all this how tell them everybody how great it is and stuff like that and I I did an unboxing video but I can't do uh, an honest review of the product that they want me uh, they want me to give a live review and I'm not making the video and now I'm getting email after email. We're waiting for your video, waiting for your video. We expect you to say this and that and I, I just can't do it. This product here though, I can give a good review. That freaking thing is amazing. All right, so we're gonna try these before heading to the Hyundai dealer right over there. We got these amazing chargers that are brand new. They are Electrify America. They're 350 kilowatts. Will it work at these ones? It worked in Electrify America yesterday, but I don't think they were these powerful ones. I'm gonna sell my next newborn baby just to get this unit. Here it goes, connecting the vehicle. Yeah. Can you believe it? I bet every time you get a working charger, man, doesn't it just blow you away? Initiating charging. Come on. Here it goes. The, the, uh, yeah, yeah, here yeah. it goes. I gotta get a YouTube short of this. I'm telling you guys, this is this is the last we got one more charger after this and then we're done. And it is right over here at the Hyundai, and it is a charge point, but it's a real charge point, not an FPL. So we're gonna give that a shot, and if it works, that's a hundred, another hundred percent. It's, it's just the hundred percents are just gonna keep going. It's gonna be like five hundred percent. I need this thing in my life. I'll still check, test the long good ones, but long good doesn't work at any of these just yet. Should eventually, but. We need it to work now, like this one. Okay, so the charge point worked. I mean, I mean the Electrify America, but is charge point gonna work here at the Hyundai dealer? Hmm, I might be throwing this guy a curveball, trying to make it fail, but every charger I've taken it to and, and dragged him along, it, uh, it just seems to work. Okay, we're here at the Hyundai dealer, charge point. seconds what I thought I was throwing you a curve by there it's charging dang it I cannot get this thing to fail cannot get it to fail <laughs> okay okay the power should start wrapping up now oh come on 
29. Let's see what we can get it to. It's at 10, 11, 12, 14. It's going. This one I could probably get about 75 kilowatts an hour. It is. It's starting to climb now. Pretty heavy. Tick, tick, tick. Now with the Chatamo, I have gotten like 70 off of this charger. And so I'm assuming the 150 kilowatts that the this pump puts out with CCS, I probably can get 100, my max. But like I am at 40 something percent. Battery's a little bit warm still, like it has been all morning. But I, I still think it's gonna climb. It is, it's slowly climbing, it's almost a 40. So this is an 80 amp. Three phase uh, charger. 100 amp. Up. Okay. Yeah, I think due to my battery being warm and already at 45%, I'm not going to get 70. If my battery was uh, a little bit cooler, but it is almost in the red. It didn't. It, my battery didn't really cool off in three hours of sleep last night. <laughs> But it's working. Yeah. You, you can fly. You can go home now. Yeah. You're Thank done. You. You're Thank done. You. Thank you. So real fast. Okay. Because I, my audio messed up on yesterday's video and I had yeah. to cut some and add music. It was yeah. stupid. Dumb. I'm sorry, guys. Could you spell out? I know the links for the websites will be down below in the description. Yeah. But could you uh, give just information to the websites once again if they want to purchase it and how to get in contact with you? Um. You just have to go on the website which is acciine.co.uk and then they can either send it an email or they can purchase directly on the website so whichever i will still reply to them anyway and, and but, maybe explain a few things to them as well if they purchase from you they don't have to deal with alibaba and with that no two no no it gets minimum shipped directly anyway so, so they don't, don't need all this uh, hassle so um, you don't you're not forced to purchase two you can get one yeah um, I mean, they can pre-order now, and then within a week or two, they can have it. And yeah. A week or two? Yeah, I'll try my best because we have a lot of orders, um, back orders. But mm -hmm. like I said, it's a new product and it's working, and everybody wants it. So I'll try my best to get it shipped as soon as possible. But okay. I don't want to promise that will be shipped tomorrow. But let's say one to two weeks at least, you know. End of well, you don't month. have you don't have to worry about like it from. I mean, Le uh, Leslie at Longgood. They fast forwarded it to me and it, they did get here in two weeks, but most people were waiting like a month or two. Yeah, I mean, I'll try my best, but because we have a lot of orders, mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't want to like disappoint any customer. So let's say one to two weeks or whatever. Uh, we have a uh, mass production um, by end of this month. So at least that should, that should be. You guys are so cool. Thank you. <laughs> You're amazing. And that's it. And, and um, when I'm tagging the adapter itself, like on my spreadsheet. Yeah, CCS2, uh, CCS1. The, the and do I use what company in front? Like I'm using Dongguan at the beginning of the other long good one. Oh, um, you just put Electway, but I'll, I'll, I'll Electway. Send, yeah, I'll send you the information. Also, okay. So. I, yeah, I have the website, but yeah. I, so yeah, I'll, I'll put that on the spreadsheet. Okay. All right. So there it is. It's working, guys. It's it's, it's amazing. Game changing. Peace out. And see, there are a lot of Teslas around because he wants to try something. He wants to see if he can get my Nissan Leaf charging at a Tesla supercharger. But first we need to see if we can grab an adapter. They didn't, they, what he was looking for is what got interrupted by my alarm. But what he was looking for is here in the United States, Tesla has a thing called Magic Docks. I think we only have one or two in Florida and supposedly they're in the Tampa area, but he wanted to test the Magic Dock on the Nissan Leaf with the adapter, but there is none around here to test out, so that's a fail. You know what? You failed. <laughs> it, it, your adapter failed once because there's no magic docks around. You could blame Tesla for that, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it, uh, sorry, sorry about the extended of the video. I signed off earlier, but thought this might be interesting. Interesting if it worked. It didn't. <laughs>